Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. I already randomized the character, you might see my streak is a bit low. I've been testing some mods and trying out some new stuff. It didn't end up working out, but it, it, it ruined the, the, the two streak we were on, so don't worry about it. But I did get Azazel, um, I randomized early and I'm happy to try him out because I haven't played Azazel in a really, really long time. He's kind of one of those characters that's a little interesting because he's like... He's very unique, he's very different, but obviously a lot of people don't like playing him because of how easy he can be. Um, he's not always super easy, like, granted, it's not like it's a guaranteed win by playing this guy, but for, for, for better players, it's like a good shot at a win. Oh, I should have really held off for a bit of a better payout than three keys there, but that's not terrible, I suppose. But yeah, we'll see how we go as him, we'll see how we go. I'm just going to power through, see what happens. Oh god. Oh, I did not understand the assignment. I did not understand the assignment. I thought if I pressed the button, it wouldn't spawn anything. That was very, very unwise of me. It's okay, it's okay. Only half a black heart. It doesn't matter. But for today's question of the day, I have kind of an interesting one. Um, For today's question of the day, what is your favorite mod? And it does not have to be a mod from Isaac. What is your favorite mod of all time? Whether you've played it, whether you've just seen it, whether it's one that you used to play a long time ago, what is it? Because I've, I've, been, I've been modding Skyrim a lot the past few days. I've just been getting back into Skyrim modding again. It's a curse, I know. Anyone that's modded Skyrim will tell you the same thing. It is an endless cycle. But it just kind of got me thinking um, about what some of the best mods out there are or what people regard as some of their favorite mods. Because there's a mod for Skyrim that just revolutionizes the entire game and it just it, it kind of blows my mind how revolutionary it is it's it's called like true true modern third person movement or something along those lines it's not that exact thing but it's some somewhere along that path and it is it's crazy how good it is it just brings skyrim sort of into the into the like sort of latest gaming era it brings everything kind of up to date with with where the where gaming is now for a lot of third-person games like that. And yeah, it's just, it's absolutely fantastic. Here's hoping we can get a bit of money to play that guy, actually. Um, yeah, it just, it, it brings it all in line with some of the newer games, and it makes the game feel so much better. It adds, like, proper head tracking and, and like, enemy auto-lock targeting and, like, mid-air combat and dodge rolling, and it's just fantastic. And it's, like, true 360 movement and stuff like that. It's... Really, really good. Okay. Um, I don't quite know if we have enough yet, but I'm going to try and play this dude. I'll go through this room here one second. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Do you know what? Crack the Sky is fantastic in my book. Crack the Sky is one of those items that can just let you insta-kill a boss, and I... I will always stand by an item like that. So I'm hoping this guy pays out relatively early. And I realize we're losing money to do this, but I think it's potentially worth it. It's already been worth it by far. There you go. That's exactly what I wanted. Because now we can re-roll this. Shield of Tears doesn't really do much for us. That doesn't really do much for us. I will bomb it. I know that I might get some trash here. I got something really trash, but I got my money back. So... Was it really all that bad? Was it really all that bad? I got my money back. I'm not that bothered now. But yeah, it would have been nice to have gotten something a little more worthwhile than uh, literally the worst thing you can possibly get from that room. But hey-ho. That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, I guess. We keep pushing forward. But yeah, and then another, another sort of one that comes to mind for me. Uh, another mod that I've just been absolutely loving recently is uh, Ultramod for Nuclear Throne. I think Nuclear Throne, it, it unfortunately, has like a very small presence on YouTube at the minute, and it kind of deserves a bit more light, especially the modding scene. I realize that Nuclear Throne is now kind of an old game, and it's like not really sort of the prime... Um, what's it called? It's, it, I wouldn't exactly call it a prime uh, roguelike anymore, but it, it was kind of one of the classics, and I know a lot of people have had their time with it and had their fun with it, but I think a lot of people don't realize how just great of a modding scene it actually has it's a it's a very very good modding scene what does this do again for us and eh, no, i'd rather have a lighter right now it doesn't really interest me that much um 
But yeah, I think people don't really realize how crazy good of a modding scene it actually has. And now after playing Ultra Mod, I'm like, god damn, people really need to see just how good this is. I can't believe I got hit there. Um, people really need to see how good this is. It's it's one of my favorite mods of all time. It's it's so thorough. The performance is great. It's all kind of thematic with the game. It makes improvements to the base game. It's not just new content. It's a bunch of new content, but also loads of really nice additions to the base game as well. It's, yeah, it's it's it really is a masterpiece of a mod. Um, and I've kind of spoken to the mod creator as well and just said like, how impressed I am with it. Like, it was actually a mod from a really long time ago that only just recently started getting updated again. And I'm so glad the creator gave it the time to go back and take another look at it and sort of update it to be a bit more modern and, and, and work properly and everything. Because, it, yeah, it truly is like a fantastic, fantastic game. By the way, I'm loving the lighter for these quick kills. Um, what? What? That fucking skitter moved at the speed of light. You kidding me? Yeah, the fire is very nice here. The fire is very nice. Now that's what I like to see. Getting the eternal version of this guy and just lapping him in the face. I realize what you're going to do to me, sir. Angel deal could be very nice. PJs is incredible. Little delirium. Not exactly the best of options for us, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm, I'm kind of playing a bit fast and loose here, but I feel like Azazel's one of those characters that it just makes me want to speedrun. Like, it just makes me want to try and beat the game as fast as I possibly can. So it might be a little bit of a quick episode, just because even when I sort of realize I'm doing it and attempt not to, I still end up doing it. Just because you have that bit of extra movement speed, you've got the flight, you've got the quick killing potential. It's kind of like, as long as I'm not skipping too many, like, room types, I'm, like, good to go. I'm good to just beeline it. And it's, it's a lot of fun to do as well. I know we're trying to get completion marks and all that sort of good stuff, but it is a lot of fun. Do you know what? This is definitely a room for this. Managed to kill like three enemies. We're definitely going to get a charge right before the boss anyways, so it's like, whatever. A uh, little delirium as well. Not the best angel item, but definitely not a bad item by any means. It's actually quite a good item. Um, can provide us with incubus. Can provide us with like dry baby there. Uh, rotten baby. There's all sorts of good ones it can give you. And we've got little Steven here as well. He's he's doing he's doing his own thing. I see that white fatty in the middle and think it's an eternal one and I'm like, oh no no. Oh no no. The eternal ones have kind of been kicking my ass a little bit. There's an eternal one. Oh, you see what I mean? I got hit by that guy twice. Oh, hello. I did not know there was a pit in this room. Now, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> One room just gave us um, the same damage up as, like, the pentagram. Or even a little more, actually. That's kind of crazy. There you go. A little rotten baby helping us out there. Buy items without money, get a stat down. That's kind of interesting. Although, I don't think that's going to work with us. Because it'll buy with money first. It'd be nice if we could choose. Because then we could actually buy not using our money and keep our um, money equals power bonus. But, unfortunately, I don't think it's really going to work that way. Um, yeah, that's kind of exactly what I was hoping for, you know. More money, more damage. I realize I'm taking some really dumb hits here, but I think because of PJs, I'm feeling quite confident to just be a bit of a, be a bit of a dumbass. And that is how we do it. Na 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 na. Cat and Nine Tails as well. I mean, I'll check the devil deal, why not? Unfortunately, nothing there I'm willing to grab. And we'll keep her going. Keep her moving. I should have gone back and got that golden chest. But I suppose having a key for the next floor is going to be nice. Just to get into our item room straight away. I was just about to say. If it spawns straight away. And it did. Oh. Rotten gut is also fantastic. Really good for bossing. Just going to suck enemies in as you can see. Did we kill that ghost just then or not? Eh. Nah. Not worth fighting eternal enemies for a spear of destiny. It could it could actually get us killed if we're not careful. Hello. This is rather nice. I, I was thinking about fighting the angel then, but I'm like, nah. Do you know what? The game is, like, insistent. 
Oh, this is beautiful. Did you steal my key? God damn it, little fella. I didn't hire you to steal keys. I mean, I quite literally did, but ignore that. Having a mortal heart here is going to be really nice. We have a lot of health to work with now. I think the others got set on fire there. Oh, you almost got me. You almost got me. But I saw you just in the nick of time here. I will open that up. Unfortunately, not very useful. I was kind of hoping for trinkets, really, because although we've got a good trinket right now, we could definitely get better. Okay, let's not lose our immortal heart here. That would be a little silly. Okay, there you go. Another soul heart drop. Yeah, that immortal heart is going to keep us afloat for a little while here. And it allows me to be a bit sillier, because it essentially means I've got a holy mantle every room. It allows me to be a little more stupid. Th this I, this room I very nearly used my Crack the Sky on, but then after seeing just how quickly we destroyed most of them, I was like, maybe not. Do you know what would be really nice now? Bit of fire rate. Bit of fire rate would just hit the right spot for me. Where do you, where do you think you're going, sir? That guy is just floating away. Okay, th these things need to go. Rock Guts doing his, doing his thing. Any enemy that gets near it just gets destroyed. Maybe getting, like, a black hole would be really good. Because you can, like, rock go into black hole. Dude. Yeah, that's right. Stop it. This, honestly, the lighter, though. The lighter is impressing me right now. Oh, this is good. This is very good. We lose some damage now, but we get a golden penny at the start of every single floor. Which is going to waste some time, sure. But, honestly, for the damage it's going to reward us with, we're probably going to end up coming out even. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's so good. We've already been in here, haven't we? This is a speedy run. This is what I mean. I just, you get on your pace and it's just like, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You just want to go faster and faster. Right. I hope this doesn't take too long because we do have a bit of extra speed as this guy, but not a lot. I don't want to hang around for too long. There you go. But we're already here and we're at 9 minutes 50. That's pretty insane. Oh, for God's sake. It's alright. We'll get our immortal heart back in a second. I will grab a full card here. Ow. Those guys are always dodge me. Like, they charge and just dodge out the way. Get our immortal heart back again. Now it's just me taking dumb damage here. Okay, let's check the arcade real quick here. Don't want to leave that out. You see? Did we get some pennies. I kind of would like a charge item, but honestly those charge dudes are notorious for like just not paying out. Or taking a really long time to pay out, should I say. Yes, dirty mine's so good. Great addition. Glass crown is incredible. Yes. Look at that fire rate. If we can keep... Although, I was going to say if we can keep our immortal hearts, it'd be great, but it won't work the same way. Immortal hearts do count as getting hit. So it's not like we can keep our glass crown by using our immortal heart here. But if you don't know what this does already, this is insane. It just gives us a massive stat boost, but once we get hit three times, it disappears forever. Um, so the longer we can go without getting hit those three times... The longer we get to keep this amazing stat boost. Almost got hit straight off the bat there. Oh, you're just tiny. I was, like, wondering where the hell that dude was. But, yeah, like, it's not as if, like, you get hit three times and all your stats get removed. They incrementally lose the stats. So you start off with a massive stat boost and you get slightly lowered, then even lowered, and then none. It's a fun way of doing it. I like it. Cool item. I'm most interested in this fire rate, though. The fire rate that we have right now is insane. Okay, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Although, our brimstone is doing mighty nice. Holy hell. Damn it. So we lost some of our stats already. We lost the vast majority of our tears up. Just the big hitter there. It's a bit sad. 
Uh, I'm going to take negative path here. Uh, anything in here that really speaks to me. Honestly, no. I was going to grab one and full card out, but no. I'm pretty happy to just move along. So, unfortunately, we did get hit once on our glass crown. I was hoping we could keep it through the womb a little bit. We spent some money on it so we can uh, regain that back here. At least we'll always have some constant damage income. Yeah, not quite a 1.7 fire rate, but still good. Obviously, Womb is uh, notorious for just being a bitch to navigate, so excuse me if I don't quite speedrun the right direction here. But we'll see. <laughs> you jumped right into Rock Gut, you fool. I wonder if that affects it. I wonder if the reason he teleported into Rock Gut there is because Rock Gut was pulling him that way. Like, it pulls the teleport's focus sort of thing. I don't think that's the case, but he did teleport there twice. It kind of makes me think. This seems secret roomy. It's not. Good stuff. Wow, that was a quick kill. Gusty Blood. We'll check this out as well. Red King's kind of an interesting one. We'll grab Red King. Let's go. Red King's going to mean that we can um, get a red item after defeating Mum here. It's only going to affect us for this one floor, so... But it's like... We, there's some really good red items. Some really good red items. It could be fantastic. It's always the way of the, of the large room, but I'm going to gamble and say that this time it isn't. I'm probably wrong. Dude, these enemies suck butts. The way that they jump is just way too sporadic. Oh, you bastard. Okay, we lost our Immortal Heart because I got insta-hit on the Spike Frogs there. I just didn't see the Spike Frogs at all. But we kept our Cracked Crown, which I'm very surprised about. But wait. Oh, God. No, we no I don't think we did because my fire rate is now... Quite literally the worst thing I've ever seen. Why is it so bad? Isn't this worse than it was originally? Wasn't it a 0.71 originally? I don't know what's happened here. I seem to have... I seem to have lost even more stats. I... Okay, so I think it's bugged. I think what's happened... If I just go remove glass... Brown... Yeah, I, I was I was gaining negative stats from my glass crown. What the hell? <laughs> That's not fair. I think because I like got hit multiple times to the spike rocks. For some reason, the spike rocks cannot be broken by a um. So the, glass, the glass crown cannot be broken by a spike rock. So I'd lost the stats multiple times without losing the crown. Okay, so it was through the big room. It's always through the big room. You fool. This floor was a waste of time. God damn, this is definitely a situation where I want to use that. Okay. Speeding through, though. We're speeding through. Let's not let this minor setback deter us. This is a tricky little room for us here. Not so happy with this. These dudes are healthy, too. Do you know what? These dudes are too healthy. Why am I even in here still? Oh my lord. I'm getting hit a lot. I'm going to use a lot of bombs doing this in case I go the wrong way here. But I ain't doing these rooms. I will do that one though. But it was only because I did it by accident. Okay, there you go. Okay. Slightly difficult situation here, but we'll get through it. Oh, I was th I thought I'd timed that bomb right. I timed it very wrong.
Okay, good, good. Where's our red door? I thought we got a red door on this floor. Okay, that was a pointless pickup then. Um, alrighty then. So we want to go down. Okay, so things have things have become a little a little saucy for us here. We might we might well die. We lost all of our fire rate bonus because I, I think that was from uh, gusty blood from getting hit, wasn't it? Right. So let's let's pop this guy. I know we're losing damage, but and let's try and reroll to get something good. Pinball isn't going to work for us. Thunder Thighs isn't going to work for us. The Black Bean isn't going to work. Bumble Bombs isn't going to work. Oh, straight back to HP. So all we did there is lose a bunch of damage and still get HP in the end. That's exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> wow. But we've made it. We've made it back up. We're back. Yes, exactly back to our damage that we were on. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. How did the Bernies not die there? Come on now. Hoping I'm going the right way. Health isn't looking all too bad now. I'm a little less uh, perturbed about our health. That's more damage. Thank you. This is a situation in which I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I was going to say in which that's a really good idea. And then none of them hit. Is he still getting stuck with a rock gut, dude? Also, my little Azazels. I do wish the little Azazels had little baby lasers, but I think that would be uh, maybe a bit too strong. Also, this looks secret roomy. I regret everything. I really do regret everything. This is a really hard fight. Actually, wasn't so bad. And we got a bunch of damage for it too, so... Not all bad, eh? Not all bad. There's our boss fight. That was close. And we get our charge back too. Okay. He's eternal. That definitely worries me. The fact that it also spawns an Eternal Fallen as well is just like, come on now. That's just evil. Oh, come on now. <laughs> this is so hard. I don't even know what this guy does. Okay, he does that, apparently. Holy fuck, I'm definitely going to die here. I tried my hardest. I tried my hardest. It's not like we had a win streak going anyways. But god diggity damn. This is an Azazel run gone wrong. Yeah, there's, there's just no way. Do you know what? Just use that and finish him off. Hopefully the feet are a little better. I think if I remember correctly, the stomps just like do a spread pattern of bullets. When they hit. Oh my god, I've got too much speed. Because my speed has increased a lot over the course of this fight. Also, he spawns more Fallens. That's uh, interesting. Oh my lord. I did survive. I did survive. I can say that I made it to the dark room. I am on zero HP, but I made it there. One that gives us health. Come on. None that give us health. Yes, this looks plausible for me to survive. <laughs> oh, anyways, that was a fun little episode, even though we died. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it's a very quick one, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.